Hello dears, this video is mainly about the definition, scope and importance of environmental studies. Then we will see the need for public awareness and then the institutions and people involved in environment. First, the definition. The word environment is derived from the French word environ meaning surroundings. Hence, everything surrounding us is called environment. Every organism is surrounded by materials and forces that constitute its environment. The environment creates favorable conditions for the existence and development of living organisms. The survival of any organism requires a steady supply of materials and removal of waste products. The natural environment encompasses all living and non-living things. Environmental studies deals with every issue that affects an organism. It is an applied science as it seeks practical answers to make human civilization sustainable on the earth's finite resources. The environment is constituted by the interacting systems of physical biological and cultural elements interrelated in various ways, individually as well as collectively. Physical elements determine the variable character of the human habitat, its opportunities as well as limitations. Examples include space, landforms, water bodies, etc. Biological elements include plants, animals, microorganisms, and human beings. Cultural elements such as economic, social and political elements are essentially man-made features. Now let's see the scope of environmental studies. Everything around us forms our environment and our lives depend on keeping its vital systems as intact as possible. Our dependence on nature is so great that we cannot continue to live without protecting it. Producing more resources could be provided by means of technological innovations. The ill effects of this type of development led to environmental degradation. The industrial development and intensive agriculture uses of large amounts of natural resources such as water, minerals, petroleum products, wood, etc. Non-renewable resources such as minerals and oil are those which will be exhausted in the future. Renewable resources such as timber and water can be used and regenerated by natural processes such as regrowth or rainfall. If we use the resources intelligently, it can sustain us over the longer term. This is called sustainable utilization or development. Scope of environmental studies include developing an awareness and sensitivity to the environment and its related problems. Motivating people for active participation in environmental protection. Developing skills to find solutions to environmental problems. Imbibe and inculcate in others the necessity for conservation of natural resources. Now, the importance of environmental studies. The scope of environmental studies is extremely wide and covers some aspects of every major discipline. Natural resources are limited, as we all know. Water, air, soil, minerals, the products we get from forests, grasslands, oceans, and from agriculture and livestock are all a part of our life support systems. Without them, life itself would be impossible. As we keep increasing in numbers and the quantity of resources each of us uses also increases, the Earth's resource base must inevitably shrink. The Earth cannot be expected to sustain this expanding level of utilization of resources. Added to this is the misuse of resources. Pollution leads to a variety of diseases and other adverse environmental impacts. 
Each of us should begin to take actions in our daily lives that will help preserve our environmental resources. We must preserve certain values of nature such as productive value, aesthetic value and the option values of nature. Now, what is the need for public awareness? Increasing population, urbanization and poverty have exerted pressure on the natural resources and led to degradation of the environment. To prevent the environment from further degradation, the Supreme Court has ordered and initiated environmental protection awareness through government and non-government agencies. Environmental pollution cannot be prevented by laws alone. Public participation is equally important with regards to environmental protection. Environmental education is a process of learning by giving an overall perspective of knowledge and awareness of the environment. I will list out some of the threats to our ecosystem. The list goes like this. Climate change, loss of biodiversity, declining fisheries, ozone layer depletion, illegal trade of endangered species, destruction of habitats, land degradation, depleting groundwater supplies, introduction of alien species, environmental pollution, solid waste disposal, stormwater and sewage disposal. Both formal and informal education on the environment will give the interested individual the knowledge, values, skills and tools needed to face the environmental challenges on a local and global level. Now, the institutions in environment. There have been several government and non-government organizations that have led to environmental protection in our country. They have left to a growing interest in environmental protection and conservation of nature and natural resources. I have listed certain well-known organizations which leads environmental protection in our country. And uh, these are some of the people who are really involved in the protection of our environment. Now, students come to discussion forum and just give your views on the topic I mentioned. Thank you.